today we're talking about procrastination. We're talking about how a lot of people who are going to get into business procrastinate on one of the most important things, and that is learning the business side, right? We are so quick to go out and we're so quick to shoot and learn and we'll be bored and we'll just go find something to film, but we don't find something to learn when it comes to business. And we procrastinate a lot about it. We study too long. So I want to kind of talk about that. You know what I'm saying? First, let me do this. So sit tight. Let's roll graphics. Just like photography and videography, I can talk to you about what it's like filming. And then it's something about being out there where you have to run into problems with audio. You have to run into problems with lighting or shooting in situations where it's mixed lighting. You have to run into those problems to really understand how to handle it. You have to run into those problems to really know if you have a good camera or not, right? I always determine whether or not my camera has really good dynamic range when it comes to its ability to handle mixed lighting. Go, go shoot in the office building that has terrible fluorescent lighting and then you got lights coming from a window and you're trying to light it. Go shoot in that situation and see how your footage come out. See uh, if your camera has the ability or if you have the ability to grade your way out of that situation with the log footage that was provided. That's a situation that I can tell you about all day long, but if you aren't in those situations, it's just gonna be difficult for you to learn. Business is the same way. There's no way for you to be successful, know that you like, have success, grow, um, learn, excel in a niche unless you are out there doing it. So I highly encourage that you all go out, you get up, go out, you rub shoulders with people not just at networking events, right? Walk into the, the building of these um, of your niche and have conversations with gatekeepers and owners. I promise you, you're going to leave with something to help you get further and further every time. And then you'll get to the point where you can go for the, the jugular every single time. You'll be able to go in and punch them in the throat every single time. Um, and it's something that you'll develop as you gain this experience. I was scared to death at first. I was studying and, you know, I could use this to get around a gatekeeper and I could use that and pitch this and do that. Man, screw all of that. You have to walk in the building and, and build this experience because people are way more alike than you think they are, especially when you live within this niche. Plus, you can't determine whether or not you like something until you do it. You can't determine whether or not you have the right equipment until you do it. You can't be in a niche and do 10 jobs or, or you can't really buy even buy the right gear and i'm talking about a lot of small stuff not just the camera itself but lenses and things like that until you live in that niche you have to live in that niche to determine what you need it took me being in my niche for some time to get the right camera gear to get the right skill set for instance i do a lot of corporate events right um what blows those guys away is they may hire me to do photography or videography if I can go get a cheap GoPro, throw a battery pack, sit it in the corner, set it on time lapse and get a complete time lapse of the event, especially if I use like a DJI Osmo pocket. And this is something that's really cheap that you can put in your back pocket. That'll make you a lot of money. But a DJI Osmo pocket has one of the best time lapse features ever because I can look over here and pan it for the whole event and get a nice two hour time lapse that I can deliver to the client almost that night that will blow them away. I can pull it on my cell phone and send it to them and it'll blow them away. And it's something we never discussed and never talked about. And it's just something extra that sets us apart. That little device will pay for itself in the first, the first time you use it if you understand what your client want. Now, now this is something like th th these are little things that every time I work with a new client, it blow them away. I wild them every single time I work with them, right? Every single time I work with a new client, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that one pickup line that work on, on everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like that one crossover that work on everybody. Every time you play somebody new in basketball, they fall for that same move and they respect you. They respect you. They respect your jump shot because you 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 drain a three pointer in their face, and now just like just like in basketball, now because they respect your three pointer, they gotta step out to the line, and then you can go to your next move where you can blow right past them with a head fake because they're scared of your three pointer, and now you got them on a the layup. So this is something you do to every single person you play, 
there is no rap sheet on what you offer like like in the in the NFL or NBA where somebody can pull up your stats and see what your next move is. You have a game plan, you know, and these are things that you develop just working with the same client over and over and over again. I know I can wow them with sending them pictures during an event while I'm taking pictures. I know I can wow them by having a time lapse at the end of the event. I know that I can wow them with with certain things that is just a part of my workflow that keeps that 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 I'm not going to say we under promise and over deliver, but these are just little things that add to the customer service side of your business. Other guys are telling you to worry about camera and blah, 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 and quality and yada, yada, yada. But y'all skipping over customer service, man. Customer service is, is what gets you called back if you're having a bad day. If you forget a memory card, if you have some, a, a data issue, customer service is what, you get, is, is what gets you called back when you're not feeling your best. When, you, you know, when you're not in the best of mood, when somebody trip over something or things don't go right, customer service is what's going to get you that call back. This is what's going to get you that benefit of the doubt. Even if you turn in content that's not up to what they thought they were getting, customer service is what's going to help you get over that hump. And everybody's teaching you how to be this great photographer, but nobody's talking to you about offering great customer service. Customer service is why they will refer you, why they will call you back, why they will talk to, talk to their friends about you. Customer service is very important to your business. That's why I preach the website, your gear, your clothes, the way you present yourself. That's all great customer service. That's all about the brand and the image you present. You can't, you can't perfect this reading about it. You have to go out and do it. Procrastination is preventing you from learning these techniques that you need to help get you further in your business. Customer service is extremely important and it's something that you cannot learn on the sideline. You got to get out there and take a few hits. So studying won't get you that. You got to go take some lumps. Get out there, shake some hands, fail, take some lumps. Go out there, talk to some people, get denied, get doors slammed in your face. Learn from what you did wrong and fix it. A lot of y'all don't realize how salesy you sound. You're not going to get better at that reading about it. You're going to get better at that by going to do it. This is something that you are practicing. I can I can teach you the way and tell you how to think about it, but you have to go and experience it. Your ability to translate your skill set into something that clients can see how it can be profitable for them is lacking. That is the hardest part of business. It's called showing value. Your, your ability to show value to a person is not there. That is something that you have to develop and work on. That is the hardest part of business. So that is the part I challenge you to go out and work on this week. That is your homework. That is your mission. If you choose to accept it, go out and work on the business side, work on talking to people, just being comfortable talking to strangers about your business within your niche, getting information out of them that will help your business. All right, y'all be safe and I will see y'all definitely see y'all next week. We're going to end on uh, some graphics like this.